So uh, my name is Girish. Um, I'm I'm presenting a lightning talk on uh, you know Docker logging with Paper Trail. Um, and uh, who am I? So um, it's a, probably a better picture. Uh, so um, I work for SolarWinds, uh, and I'm part of the technology strategy team, trying to work with some really cool technologies uh, all the time. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so the talk is about um, sending the Docker logs. Uh, can be from your local or from any environment you have uh, to paper trail. So um, what is so special about it? That's kind of like you know, what I'm, I'm trying to present. It's, it's a small piece of work. Um, it is interesting. Um, so you know, I hope uh, it'll keep you guys uh, interested for the next six minutes. So um, first things, so Docker is, is, is very nice, like in the sense uh, they uh, initially, uh, the way it started was different, but now like, you know, they have actually extended the capabilities by, uh, you know, by, by providing like a plug-in uh, capability. So uh, you can actually plug in like several things. So like, uh, for example, the volume driver is pluggable, the log driver is pluggable. So here, this presentation, like, and I'm going to talk about like, you know, leveraging one of that capability to actually like, you know, write a logging driver, which can ship the logs to paper trail. So that's what this is. So what are Docker plugins? Uh, so they are out of process extensions, uh, which extend the capability of Docker. So you know it's not rigidly stuck with one uh, driver. Uh, so um, it's, a, it's a process which it can actually either run on the same host or on a different host. Uh, the only way like you know um, Docker re registers uh, or sorry figures out like you know that there is a plugin is that like you know there is a plugin directory and it actually looks for some specific files. If those files exist, uh, then you're good to go. Like you know, it automatically picks up, uh, picks it up, and Docker actually lazily loads it, so it doesn't like you know uh, require that the plugin be available like you know when it <laughs> starts uh, when the Docker daemon starts, but rather like you know when uh, initial container tries to reference it, like, you know, that's kind of like, you know, when it actually loads it up, so which is a nice thing. Um, so they have, uh, you know, uh, easy to read names, I'm not sure, yeah, so they have uh, human readable names, like, you know, short lowercase strings. Uh, the plugin is uh, RPC style JSON over HTTP, uh, much like webhooks. So we just have to implement the HTTP server and bind to the Unix socket and the requests are HTTP post requests. So this is about the Docker plugins in general. So it's not about the, the piece which I developed, but it does have relationship, of course. So uh, what is Paper Trail? So um, how many here have worked with Paper Trail? Very nice. So uh, we, ha we have Martin here. Uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm just going to like, you know, give you a glimpse of what Paper Trail is, but if you have more questions, you know, feel free to reach out to Martin there. Okay, so, so what is Paper Trail? So Paper Trail is, uh, Frustration-free uh, log management is, is really easy to set up. Uh, that's like, you know, it's, it was a really nice thing. So all you had to do is they support syslog and, you know, you, syslog APIs and, like, you know, you just, like, kaboom, like, you know, connect and you're good to go. Um, so they actually make log management easy, aggregation, um, all app logs, test logs, syslogs in one place. Um, and the, the user interface is very nice. I'll actually be showing a quick demo about it. Uh, so, you know, that probably will give you a good idea. So, and the user interface is very nice. You can actually tail, search, uh, it's real time. Um, and yes, uh, it, it has a very nice browser interface, which is almost like the command line. And they have APIs, uh, which is one of the features I'm actually leveraging as well for pulling the logs from Docker, sorry, from Paper Trail. Uh, they also have an alert uh, and uh, you know I think an alert system like you know where you can actually configure alerts uh, based on the events that are coming in and uh, you know you can go from there. Uh, that's about Paper Trail. So, so, so what does this plugin do? Uh, or, which is the topic of this discussion here? Is um, it actually sends uh, Docker logs to Paper Trail? That's very standard, very easy. Uh, so um, now. The first time I spoke to Mark, and like you know, he actually said that uh, they have syslog, which is great. But then uh, they do have some nice to have. I mean, uh, they, they did mention that it'll be nice to have some extra features. So I tried to kind of squeeze them in, like you know, in a very short time. Um, so the first thing it sends Docker logs to Paper Trail, like you know, with uh, using syslog. Uh, that's the only supported platform now. We are talking about like other possibilities, like gRPC. Um, the data is persisted on the host um, until it, actually, it, it, it gets sent to Paper Trail. So for some reason, like if there is a network partition or a network issue, then uh, the logs are persisted, and then they are flushed after the network connection is, 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 is uh, restored. The other thing is, uh, with the current syslog driver, uh, it's like a one-way thing. So the Docker sends logs to you know, the syslog, and syslog takes care of it. 
but then there is no way to kind of interface the the Docker logs local thing with uh, the you know with the, the remote system wherever that is, uh, because uh, you can actually configure your syslog uh, you know with other components like logstash, rsyslog, and things like that. So. So, so this plugin here, like you know, so what I've done is like I've tried to leverage the HTTP APIs, like which Paper Trail provides, and I'm trying to like you know suck the log back in, and also try to integrate like you know with all the capabilities of Docker, Docker log, like tailing, following, and, and things like that. So uh, that's what this plugin is. Set of craziness. It's uh, well, I've, I've just tried to highlight like you know uh, the the crux. Uh, so essentially, all you need is like you know just install the plugin. Uh, so uh, the plugin is uh, is publicly available. Uh, so it's very easy to install. So Docker has a plugin uh, API. So uh, so just plug and install um, SoloWinds Paper Trail plugin. And then for using the plugin, you have two options. One is um, you can actually configure it to be globally used or just locally, like for one container. So if it is a one container basis, like you know, so I I just expect like you know a few parameters like. The log driver, yes, of course, like, you know, we need to use this driver. And the option, uh, the next one is the paper trail URL. Um, so every time, like, so the first time you create an account on paper trail, it actually gives you a URL like, you know, with a port number, uh, which is crucial for sending logs. Sorry. Um, and uh, the other crucial thing is this token here. So if you want to read uh, the logs from paper trail using their APIs, you need the paper trail token. So, so that's it. Like you know, so so if you have the paper trail URL and uh, the token from them and the plugin install, you're pretty much ready to go. So and then like you know, so here is, is, a, is a sample like you know which just runs uh, echo command, uh, like you know by just combining a few things to show the differentiation, like you know kind of in an infinite loop every ten seconds. Um, so that's kind of like what I'm going to be using for the demo, uh, and then. If you're brave enough and want to use this plugin, like you know, for the uh, for the host uh, logging instead of just one container, uh, you have to just include the you know include it in the uh, Docker daemon uh, daemon .json file. Right. So so uh, so these are these are some of the uh, example use cases. Like you know, so so uh, sending logs is straightforward. Uh, so reading logs. So the Docker logs container name uh, logs hyphen f, which is the follow, um, and then uh, the tailing part, so instead of just, I don't want to get all the logs, I just want the last five or 10 or maybe 500, whatever. So, you know, uh, that actually helps. Um, and the last one is uh, tailing with uh, follow. So, uh, so these are some of the use cases, like, you know, which the plugin supports. We love Docker Hub. So uh, the code is, uh, sorry, uh, the container, or sorry, the plugin is available on Docker Hub. Uh, it's free to use, uh, so feel free to use it. Like you know, so uh, if uh, you've not uh, done so, and here's GitHub. So um, you know, feel free to uh, check out uh, the code. And uh, that demo time. That is Paper Trail. Uh, if you guys are new to Paper Trail, uh, this is uh, the nice interface. Uh, thanks to Martin uh, and his team for coming up with a cool system. So you can see that. So this is like a, a beautiful view, like you know, so wherein you, you can actually see the events as they come in. So this is Paper Trail, uh, and these were some of my test examples, like you know, which I was playing with, like you know, for the demo, and uh, the demo. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to install the <coughs> plugin, uh, which I just showed you guys uh, as one of the steps. So Docker plugin install SoloWinds uh, Paper Trail plugin. And uh, what it essentially does is it actually tries to connect to Docker Hub and pull the uh, pull the plugin. Uh, now it's actually asking uh, permissions for it to use the host networking. And yes, we have to say yes because it has to send logs to sys, uh, sorry to Paper Trail. So uh, you can see it's actually pulling the uh, image. Uh, I really hope it does it fast. Otherwise, John is going to kick me out. Okay, good. So so it it's done. So it's not it's not a huge piece of software, so uh, that's a good thing. So and then uh, I'm going to run. Oh, where's my mouse? Okay, I'm going to run the exact same example like I showed you guys, like where I'm saying, hey, you know what? For this container, just to use the paper trail uh, plugin, um, and then uh, those are my credentials, uh, and uh, kaboom! So it's it's actually starting to send logs, like you know. So and then uh, on the other side, uh, I'm going to show you guys if I can actually. Uh, get that thing to work. So this is the reading. So the sending is on the left, the, the reading is on the right. Yeah, so 
it, it just came out because I didn't ask it to tail. So now if you want it to tail, so let's add a hyphen F, and uh, you'll see them like go together, so you can actually compare them. Um, so every 10 seconds, like you know, whatever is sending here comes there. And uh, actually, if you go back to paper trail, um, I'm sorry. If you go back to paper trail, you'll actually be seeing the exact same logs like you know, coming here as well. So, uh, so it's pretty much like you know, so it's pretty well integrated. Uh, and then there is one more like the tail part. So, uh, so if we don't want like you know, all the logs, okay, let's just tail like you know a few of it. Probably we have five. Okay, tail. I well, let's say four. <coughs> yep. So it just got the last four and uh, a tail with a follow would actually just start with the last four and then it will continue to uh, bring them in. That's pretty much it. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.